Welcome to WGC. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos on yoga and health and wellness. Today we're going to be doing yoga for surfers, but of course anybody is welcome to practice this class. Um, this is specifically dedicated to a friend of mine called Jordan and hey Jordan and all the other surfers out there. So I hope that you enjoy. We're going to start off with a little bit of stretching, just loosening up the body, typically the areas that tend to get a little bit of tension for surfers. And then we'll go into a bit more of a dynamic flow so that we can build up some of that strength and then we'll settle right down. So I hope that you enjoy. Uh, to get started, sit in a cross-legged position. If you need a cushion underneath your bum, then you can bring a cushion underneath your bum. I know that a lot of surfers have very tight hips and hamstrings, so it could be very helpful. All right, let's bring our palms to our knees, palms facing the sky, beautiful. And roll your shoulders back and down. Allow your neck to have lots of space in it and just tilt your tailbone down a little bit as you pull your belly button in towards your spine so that your sides become nice and long and allow your eyes to close. And begin to just draw your full attention to your natural breath. Noticing the rise and the fall of your belly and your chest. And really just drawing all of your attention inwards. And do a quick check-in with your body, with the space around your shoulders. Make sure that they haven't crunched up towards your neck and your neck is actually staying nice, long, and spacious. Do a check-in with your lower back. Make sure that your belly hasn't naturally stuck out a little bit and you're pulling it right in. Finding that length in and around your spine. <laughs> and then draw your attention to your heart center. So this could be in any space for you at all is dependent on the individual. For me, it's right in the middle of my chest. So if you aren't sure, perhaps you can start there. And as you draw attention to this space, notice the warmth, notice the light, notice the love. And keeping your attention on this space, slowly begin to bring the palms of your hands together in a prayer. Pushing your thumbs up against the center of your chest, having your pinky fingers pointing outwards. Creating lots of space in between each finger. And just lightly pressing the fingertips and the knuckles onto one another. And we'll take three delicious breaths here together. So wherever you are in your breath, take an exhale. Then take a full inhale for three, two, one. Hold the breath for a moment. And open mouth, release. Again, inhale for three, two, one. Hold, open mouth, release. The last one, breathe in, three, two, one. Hold and sigh it out. And 
and then bring that attention to your heart center again and try to channel in or create an intention for your practice. So perhaps this could answer the question of why are you showing up today? And once you have your intention, repeat it three times inside your mind. Beautiful, thank you, Yogi. And bring your chin down towards your chest. Allow the back of your neck to become long. And then you can bring your hands into your lap, wherever feels comfortable for you. It doesn't really matter at this point. And if you'd like, you can slowly open your eyes or keep your eyes closed. And allow your chin to drop down a little bit further towards your chest. Keeping your back nice and straight, so not yet curving your spine. When we surf, we tend to lift our chin up so high and lengthen the front of our neck. So now we're giving ourselves the opportunity to find some space in the back of our neck. And really just connect to your breath here, especially if you feel that your mind is wandering. Maybe dropping your chin down a little bit further. And now allow a small curve in your spine. As your chin comes further down towards your chest and the crown of your head slowly begins to point towards the floor. So you'll notice that the stretch is directed now not only towards the cervical spine, but it's moving all the way down through the thoracic spine, maybe even lower towards the lumbar spine. And then from here, it could feel really nice to bring your hands out, palms facing up or down. It doesn't matter, whatever feels best for you. And we'll take four more delicious breaths here. And then slowly allow yourself to come out in the same way that you got in, straightening your lower spine, mid spine, and then upper spine all the way to the neck. Crown of the head points towards the sky. Inhale, reach both of your arms up, press your palms together. And as you exhale, bring your left hand down towards the mat and reach your right arm over towards the left, getting right into the right side body. If it's available to you and feels okay on the neck, you can look past your upper arm. Just make sure that your neck is comfortable here. If it's not, you can look down if it feels a bit strenuous. But we also do want to find strength in the neck since there's so much related to the neck when we're surfing. And then inhale. Come back up, press your palms together, find a little bit of strength in the arms, and exhale, bring the right arm down, reach the left hand over towards the right. Find lots of length in the side body, and again, if it feels comfortable to look up, look up. Ensure that your right arm isn't crunching towards your ear, and it's actually giving your neck a lot of space. Beautiful, thank you, Yogi. And then inhale, come back up, press your palms together. And as you exhale, allow your hands to come behind you, lean back onto your hands and flick your feet forward. So this may feel like a nice form of release after your legs have been crossed. So give them a nice little wiggle, some juiciness. Beautiful. And then flex your feet. 
and sit up nice and straight. So you want to make a perfect L shape with your body. Now here, like I said before, a lot of surfers tend to have uh, very tight hamstrings. So if this is the case, make sure that you have a cushion because if you're gonna be sitting like this, it's really not helpful. All right, so as you sit in this pose, this is called Dandasana or just your regular old seated position. So bring your palms down by your side have the palms of your hands really reaching into the ground and have your fingertips reaching into the ground. Push your knuckles down, similarly to what you would do right before a pop-up. All right, so making sure that your spine is nice and long, pull up from the crown of your head, shoulders away from the ears, beautiful. Feet are flexed, so your toes are pulling towards your knees. So this might already feel like a very active shape. If it does, you're doing it right. If it doesn't, Maybe just modify the pose a little bit. All right, now staying in this position, inhale, reach your arms up, keeping your spine nice and long and straight. Reach your fingertips up, and as you exhale, reach your fingertips in the crown of the head forward as you push your sit bones back. Inhale, come up just a little bit, find length in your side body and belly. And as you exhale, reach a little bit further. Once you begin to curve, You've hit your maximum, so just stay in a position where you can be straight in both your lower body and your upper body. So if that means that you're still up here, that's totally cool. But reaching with the crown of the head, reaching away with your sit bones, pulling your toes towards your knees, pushing your heels forward, staying for three, two, and last one. Then exhale, make sure your shoulders are away from your ears, bring your palms down, allow your back to curve if it does naturally. Inhale, lift up a little bit, bring your fingertips towards the mat, and as you exhale, walk your fingertips forward a little bit further. Perhaps you wanna grab onto your calf muscles, ankles, or around your feet, or you could even come into the full Pajimotanasana shape, grabbing onto your big toes with your peace fingers. Wherever you are, inhale again, come up just a little bit, reach with the crown of your head, allow your elbows to come out towards the side, and as you exhale, reach your belly towards your thighs. Keeping the crown of your head pulling forward, sit bones pushing back, taking four strong breaths here. Beautiful. Now wherever you are, before you lift your upper body, lift your arms up so they are on either sides of your ears. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, come back to Dandasana, your staff pose. Beautiful. Reach your hands just behind you. Point your fingertips towards your body. Make sure your arms are maybe about six inches or so behind your bum. Now bend your knees, allow your feet to come to where your knees just were. And we're gonna come into a reverse tabletop. Inhale, lift your pelvis up, knees are above the heels. If your knees point forwards past the heels, then make sure that your feet just walk forward a little bit. All right, lifting your pelvis up nice and high, make sure that it doesn't drop down. It's gonna feel a little bit harder, but it means it's working. Inhale, reach the crown of your head back, and if it feels comfortable, drop your head back and just allow the front of your neck to stretch. And as you're here, just really relax your head, relax your neck. This will probably feel super delicious around the shoulders. Make sure that your pelvis isn't dropping, squeeze your glutes. One more full breath. And exhale, slowly drop your bum down and then allow the crown of your head to point towards the sky. Beautiful. Bring the palms of your feet together, come into a butterfly position, and then grab onto your feet, open your feet out like a book. Beautiful, inhale, reach up with the crown of your head. Again, if it helped to have the cushion, place that cushion underneath your bum. And as you exhale, try to reach the belly in between the feet. So you may just create a very small micro movement, but the purpose of this is to get right into the hip. So as long as you can feel the hip stretching out, then you're doing it correctly. 
So as you open your feet like a book, this creates a greater stretch in, around the hips. And when you pull your belly towards your feet, it does the same thing. Beautiful. The crown of the head is pushing away from the sit bones. And it might feel really delicious to just kind of lightly rock from side to side. Hey, hey. <laughs> So just slightly rock from side to side. Maybe closing your eyes, coming into a more internal space. Beautiful. Taking two more breaths here. And then slowly bring your tor torso up nice and long. Grab onto the outer thighs and just guide the knees in towards one another. All right, from here, this can always be really challenging, but try to stand up without using the helps of your hands. Yeah, so that helps with your stability. Stand at the front of your mat. With more stability, it's best to have your feet hip width distance apart, or you can have your feet together if you're feeling like challenging yourself a little bit or if it just feels better. Now inhale, reach your arms up nice and long. Make a prayer with your hands, and as you exhale, allow your prayer to guide your gaze as you fold down. Now as you fold forward, cross your arms so that your hands are just tucked into the crease of your elbows so that you can completely relax your arms, relax your spine. You can even bring a small bend into the knees if this feels a little bit too intense in the back of the legs. This might feel really intense for the surfers out there, especially if you've been surfing a lot and you haven't been doing a lot of stretching. And we'll take four full breaths here at your own time. Watching the space be created in between each vertebrae. Beautiful, thank you, Yogi. And then drop your hands down towards the earth and we're going to allow ourselves to slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Just really take your time getting to this standing position. Once you find yourself near the top, allow your shoulders to roll back and down, giving your heart lots of space. And then inhale, reach your palms up, press your palms together. We're going to do sun salutation A. Exhale, fold, allow the hands to follow your gaze. Bring the fingertips towards the earth, then inhale, fingertips towards the knees or the shins. Come up halfway, pull the crown of the head forward, sit bones back. Exhale, press the palms down, step both feet back, coming into a plank pose. We're going to hold this plank pose for three strong breaths, so make sure that the hips are raised just a little bit above this straight line. Crown of the head pulls forward and heels pull back. This will make the pose a little bit active, but also feeling a lot better around your joints. Really push into the ground with your hands. One more full breath here. Then inhale, shift forward about two inches. Exhale, bend nice and slowly, keeping the elbows above the wrists all the way to your belly. Untuck the toes, inhale, come into a cobra, reaching your heart forward, pressing the tops of the feet on the ground. The neck is spacious, beautiful. Exhale, tuck your toes under. If you can move through a push-up, do so. Otherwise, lift your hips first, then lift your knees, push yourself back into a downward dog. So you can push your heels towards the earth, externally rotating your shoulders, pushing your fingertips firmly into the ground, and push your sit bones back. So you can pretend that somebody is behind you pushing against your bum and you're pushing against their hands. Hips are nice and lifted. Two more breaths here. After your exhale, hold the breath. 
then walk forward in between the palms, then inhale, come up halfway, and exhale, Uttanasana, fold. Micro bend the knees, circle the arms outwards, bring them all the way up as you inhale, press the palms together. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart center. Beautiful, one more time as we warm up. So inhale, circle the arms around, press the palms. Exhale, allow your prayer to follow your gaze as you fold. Inhale, coming up halfway, make a number seven with your body as you find length. And exhale, press your palms down, step both of your feet back, come into a plank. We're gonna hold here for five breaths this time. So keeping your core nice and strong. If you need, you can always drop your knees down to make it a little bit less strenuous. Crown of the head pulls forward, heel pull, heels pull back. Really press the fingertips into the ground to alleviate some of the tension on the wrist. Three more breaths. Beautiful, now inhale, shift forward about two inches, exhale, lower halfway or all the way. Inhale into your cobra, up dog, push the tops of the feet onto the ground, really reach the heart forward. Chin comes up, shoulders away from the ears. And exhale, reach the crown of the head forward, hips come up, push back into a downward dog. Beautiful, taking three strong breaths here. After your exhale, come up onto your toes, retain the breath, and hop in between your palms. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold. Micro bend the knees. Inhale, work your arms all the way up. Come into a stand, gaze up. And exhale, bring the hands to the heart center and down by the sides. Now we're gonna come into a goddess pose. So step your left foot back. I'll come this way so that your toes are pointing outwards to around 10 o'clock and two o'clock. All right, now from here, you can bring your hands towards your heart center and keeping your tailbone tucking down and your pelvis pulling up, allow your knees to bend out towards the sides. So make sure they're not falling inwards because this can be a little bit intense on the knee joint. So knees are nice and open, hips are open. This could feel really delicious. See how far you can dip yourself down, beautiful. And then you can take your hands, place them to the insides of your thighs and just try to open yourself up a little bit more. And it might feel really good to kind of sway back and forth a little. Maybe close your eyes, find this internal space. And bring your hands to your heart center again. And then inhale, open into a cactus arm. So shoulder blades pull towards one another. Elbows pull back. So it's like you want to try to kiss your elbows towards one another. That's how much space we're giving in the front of our heart. All right, now as you inhale, begin to straighten the left leg. Put the weight into the right side. Exhale, come back to goddess. Maybe move the feet out a little bit. Inhale, push the weight into the left side. Exhale, come back to goddess. Two more on each side, inhale to the right. Exhale, come back. Inhale to the left. Exhale, come back. One more, breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful, bring the hands to the heart center again. Close the eyes. Just find this internal space. And then we're gonna move into a warrior two, pointing towards the right side. So as you inhale, begin to straighten the left leg. Make the foot so that it's parallel with the back of the mat. Bend in deeply into the right leg. Have the toes pointing forward. Open the arms up. Maybe bend a little bit deeper. Make sure that you're not stretching forward too much, but you're pulling right back so that the crown of the head is above your tailbone. Beautiful, spine is nice and long. All right, now from here, 
If you have a block and you feel a little bit tight around the hips, a block could be useful or a couple of books to put on the inside of your right foot. But otherwise, you're gonna bring your right arm towards the ground or right fingertips. Now this is where we're gonna get some more dynamic movement in. So as you inhale, bring your left arm forward. And as you exhale, swish yourself towards the other side and come into a twist, bringing your right arm down, left arm comes back. Inhale, come back to side angle, so moving towards the front. Left arm comes forward. Exhale, swish back. Again, inhale, coming forward, side angle. Exhale, twist. Whew. All right, one more. Inhale, come forward. And exhale, twist. Now slowly begin to drop your right knee down. Untuck your right toe. And reach, for, or reach back towards your back toes. Maybe you can even bend your leg. And if it's available to you, you can grab onto your right foot with your left hand. Getting a nice big stretch in the quad. Feel free to drop the hips a little bit. Staying for three, two, one. And then exhale, slowly release the foot. Don't allow it to slingshot down. Bring the left hand so it's on the outside of the left foot. Tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee. Inhale, come up into a high lunge, reaching your arms up. Crown of the head is pointing up, back knee is lifted. Exhale, bring the hands towards the heart. Slowly straighten the leg and come into your goddess pose again. Whew. All right, maybe do some little rocks. That always feels good for me. Beautiful, so same thing but the other side. So slowly begin to point the left foot out, straighten the right leg, open up the arms, come into warrior two. So make sure that your pelvis is tucked up, tailbone tucked down, reaching the arms nice and long, either side of the body, inhale. Exhale, make sure your neck has lots of space. Maybe dip a little bit further into that front knee. Beautiful. And then exhale, slowly drop the left arm down to the inside of the left leg. Inhale, reach the right arm forward. All right, and then let's get into our movements. So exhale, begin to slide towards the back of the mat, come into a twist, bring the left arm to the inside of the right foot. Inhale, come back to your side angle, reach with the right hand. Exhale, move back. Beautiful, inhale, come forward. Yeah, exhale, come back. All right, one more, then we'll get into the quad stretch. So inhale, side angle. Exhale, twist. Bring that right arm to the outside of the right foot, drop the left knee down, untuck the left toes, and then reach back with your right arm pointing towards the toes, right arm. Yeah. <laughs> and then slowly bend the knee, if you can, reaching towards the toes. And you can bring the heel towards the bum, getting right into the quad. It might also feel nice to allow the right knee to just drop outwards a little bit. So you can open the hip, but this is not compulsory by any means. Make sure your neck has lots of space wherever you are, whether you're just reaching back or you're grabbing onto the foot. One more full breath. Beautiful, slowly let go of the foot. Bring the right arm to frame the front foot. Tuck the back toe under, lift the back knee. Inhale, come up into a high lunge, press the palms together. Exhale, come back to your goddess pose. All right, inhale, straighten the legs, lift the arms up, press the palms together. Make a gun of love with your hands. And then exhale, come back into goddess legs. So dropping that bum down. Now from here, just do a quick check-in with your body. See where your 
lower body is at. And then we're going to begin to move in a clockwise position with our upper body. So it's like your arms are the hands on a clock. And begin to reach towards the left side, down towards the earth, and up the right side again. So exhaling, reaching towards the left, down, inhale, come up. Beautiful. Your hips are probably feeling it. One more, exhale, inhale, come up. Straighten the legs, exhale. Inhale, bend, other way. Exhale, move towards the right side. Really get into all sides of the upper body. Inhale, come back up. Again, exhale. Inhale. Beautiful, and last one. This is super good for surfers because we tend to really activate the muscles around the rib cage and around the abs and this helps stretch it. All right, then inhale, come up nice and tall. And as you exhale, slowly just heel toe your feet together and we'll find ourselves at the front of the mat. Whew. All right, maybe give yourself a little bit of a wiggle, lining yourself up at the front of the mat, beautiful. Have yourself into dasana, so the fingertips are pointing down, crown of the head is pulling up. Just do a quick check-in with yourself, a check-in with your heart, with your breath. A check-in with your intention. Beautiful, thank you, Yogi. All right, then inhale, reach your arms up, press your palms together. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, bring the fingertips towards the mat. Bring the right knee in towards the chest and step the right foot back. Keep both legs straight. So maybe you have about four feet different distance in between the legs. And your heels are in one straight line, your back heel is pointing at a 45 degree angle. So we're in a pyramid pose. As you inhale, reach the crown of the head forward, maybe your fingertips lift off the ground, send your left hip back. And as you exhale, bring the fingertips back down and try to aim the forehead towards the knee or the shin. So we're stretching the back upper body as well as the back of the left leg. It might even feel really good to reach the hands back towards your back foot, your back heel. Allow your fingertips to reach towards the back of the mat. And this gets the stretch a little bit deeper in the back of the front leg. And if your hands are floating off the ground and you're just reaching back with your fingertips, that's cool too. Wherever you are. Beautiful, now from here, Take your right hand, place it to the inside of the left foot. This is where a block or a book could come in handy as well. And inhale, lift the left arm up. Begin to twist towards the left side. Exhale, complete your twist. Maybe look past the left hand if your stability allows. If you find that you're shaking a lot or falling over, it will help with stability to look at the floor. Remember to push the outside of the back foot firmly into the earth as well as the toes of the front foot. Beautiful, taking two more breaths here, maybe twisting a little bit deeper, really getting into the outside of the butt, the outside of the hips. And exhale, reach that arm forward, frame that front foot. Reach the fingertips forward, inhale, lift the back foot up off the ground, put the weight into the left foot. Exhale, allow yourself come into a standing slits. One more stretch in the hamstring. Inhale, begin to drop the right foot down, come up halfway. Exhale, fold. Other side, inhale, circle the arms around the body, reach them all the way up. Maybe give yourself a little back bend, open the heart. Exhale, fold right away, going into it. Inhale, come up halfway. 
Exhale, fingertips down, step the left foot back, coming into a pyramid pose. So heels are in one straight line, left foot is at a 45 degree angle. Again, blocks can be handy or you can just have your hands floating. So inhale, pull forward with the crown of the head, lift a little bit as you sit the right sit bone back. And exhale, then allow yourself to fold, sending the chin or the forehead towards the knee or shin. And again, if it's available to you, whether your hands are floating or on the mat, you can reach your fingertips backwards if you want to be accentuating the stretch in the back of the right leg a little. Beautiful, thank you, yogis. One more full breath here. Right, then sliding your hands forward, place the left hand to the inside of the right foot. Inhale, begin to twist towards the right side, lift the right arm up. Exhale, deep in the twist, gaze over your right fingertips. Send the right sit bone back, push into the mat with the outside of your left foot, into the mat with the front of your toes. Two more full breaths. Twisting right from the navel. And exhale, slowly bring that arm down. Reach the hands forward, put the weight into the foot. Inhale, lift the back foot up. Exhale, bend deeply, standing slits. Slowly bring that foot down to meet the right. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, micro bend the knees, circle the arms around the body, press the palms together, heart opens, pelvis pushes forward. Exhale, hands to the heart and down by the sides to dasana, palms facing forward. Again, do a quick check in. Sometimes when we practice yoga, we tend to forget why we showed up. Maybe we get a little bit caught up inside of our minds. And just remember why you're here. <sighs> Beautiful, thank you yogis. Hmm. All right, now from here, open the eyes. Inhale, we're gonna send the arms up, send the hips back. You're gonna come into a chair pose. Make sure that you can see your big toes still so your knees aren't pushing too far forward. Beautiful. Now I'll move over to the side so you guys can see me. All right, now have the hands behind your back, clasp the hands. Beautiful. Inhale, reach the shoulders away from your ears. Maybe bring the gaze up. And then exhale for stability. Bring the gaze towards the earth. Find a focal point. Put the weight into the left foot as you slowly lift the right leg up. And exhale, slowly, slowly step back into a high lunge. Inhale, open your heart. Open the whole front body. Bring the chin up. Exhale, bring the back heel towards the earth so that your legs are in a warrior two stance. Inhale, open the front body, arch the spine. Exhale, bring the left elbow or left shoulder to the inside of the left knee. Beautiful, gaze towards your back foot. Pull the crown of the head forward to the front corner of the mat. Taking three breaths. Beautiful. Inhale, slowly come up. Really use the strength of the core to bring yourself up. Exhale, bring the back foot forward Whew. into your chair pose. Staying here, placing the weight into the right foot this time. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, slowly, slowly step it back, coming into a high lunge. Whew. Inhale, open the front body. 
Exhale, bring the back heel down. Warrior two stance. Inhale, open, find length, find an arch spine. Exhale, curve the back, bring the chin towards the chest, bring the shoulder towards the knee. Crown of the head is pulling towards the front corner of the mat. Maybe your hips are dipping a little bit deeper. Hmm. Check in with yourself here. One more breath. Then inhale, use the core slowly, come up. Exhale, bring the back foot forward. Whew. Chair pose. Inhale, reach up, press the palms together. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart and down by the sides, beautiful. So we're gonna reach the fingertips forward, reach the sit bones back, and we're gonna sit all the way down, all the way down. Maybe you can do it without the helps of your hands, but if you need your hands behind you, that's cool. Awesome. All right, so from here, we're gonna do just a little bit of core stuff, and then we'll move into some deeper stretches. All right, so we're gonna come into a boat pose or Navasana. So from here, Option one is to have your toes onto the earth. Just your toes. Don't relax your whole feet, the entire foot onto the earth. And you wanna make a V shape, a perfect V shape with your upper body. All right, then inhale, reach the arms forward so that your fingertips are lengthening from your shoulders. And option two is to just kind of play with your feet. So maybe lifting one at a time, keeping this V shape with your upper body and your thighs. Maybe you want to bend your knees, both of your knees, lift your feet up. Maybe strain your legs. <sighs> Staying for three. Find that core strength, two. And one, inhale, bring the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a hug. And exhale, come onto your back. Bring the knees in towards your chest, rocking side to side. Beautiful. Hands come towards the earth. And we're gonna move into a shoulder stand. So if you don't feel like you can do shoulder stands today, it's all good. What you can do is just lift your feet up so that you have this inversion and place a cushion underneath your sit bones. Otherwise, pointing your feet up, use the pressure of your hands on the mat Inhale, lift the feet up and back. Exhale, bring your hands as high up on your back as you possibly can and slowly begin to straighten the legs so that your heels, knees, hips, and shoulders are all in one straight line. This will feel super delicious on the back of the neck. Keeping your toes pointed. I'll stay a little bit longer here, about five more breaths. And then slowly exhale, drop the feet down. We're gonna come into Halasana or Plow Pose. Dropping the feet behind you, behind your head until the toes come towards the earth. Maybe they don't touch the earth and that's okay. Keeping the legs straight, and then you can bring the hands onto the mat, pressing the palms onto the mat if it's available to you. And then slowly bend the knees, allow them to come towards the forehead, and slowly begin to roll yourself out. Beautiful. Bring the palms of the feet towards the earth. Maybe allow the knees to just drop side to side a few times. Beautiful. And then we're gonna roll onto our bellies. So roll onto your belly. This will feel particularly delicious for the surfers out there. So as you're on your belly, you're gonna bring your arms out so that you make a cactus arm. So your elbows are straight out from the shoulders and your wrists are straight out from the elbows. 
Now you're gonna rest the right side of the head onto the earth. Keep your arms in this cactus. Then bring the left hand to where the left elbow just was. Inhale here. I'm just gonna fix my little thing. And as you exhale, push yourself onto the right side of the body. This way you get a stretch right into your right shoulder. And if it is available to you, you can even bring the left foot onto the earth behind your leg, opening up the hip. If at any point you feel tingling in this pose, then just bring yourself out of it a little bit because chances are it means that you're pinching a nerve, which is not so good. Beautiful, thank you, Yogi. Now slowly bring your body back onto the mat. Be gentle as you make these movements. Find your forehead on the mat. Make a cactus arm with your left arm. Bring the right fingertips to where the elbow just was. Inhale here. And exhale, begin to twist onto your left side. Maybe lifting the right foot and placing it behind the left leg. And slowly allow yourself to come back out. We're going to do one more super active shape and dedication to all the surfers out there. All right, so bring your hands to either side of your chest like you're preparing for a cobra. Tuck your toes under and just like a pop up, inhale, open the front body and exhale, get on your surfboard. <laughs> Yeah, then bring both your feet towards the front, bring the bum towards the earth. That's how we're gonna end today. And allow your back to just come onto the mat. Allow your feet to extend out long. Your hands come alongside your body, palms facing the sky. And just completely let go here. Completely let go. Reminding yourself of your intention. Why did you show up today? And as we rest in Shavasana for the next few minutes, just allow the breath to comfort you and to bring that sense of home. Almost imagining that your breath is flowing just like the waves flow on a beach. organically, seamlessly, and without any strong effort.
Imagining your breath. Matching up with your perfect swell. Your perfect wave pattern. And just relax. slowly begin to engage some deeper breaths into your body. Trying to breathe only from the belly if possible. This helps keep a strong sense of calmness. bringing a little bit of movement back to your body. Starting with the fingers and the toes. Moving up your limbs. Maybe towards your hips. And maybe even reaching your arms above your head giving yourself a super delicious stretch, reaching up above your head with your fingertips, away from you with your toes, take an inhale, exhale, allow your body to retract. And then rolling onto one side, if you wish to follow tradition, it's the right side, but please do what feels best for you and your body. Just taking a few moments on your side. Allowing yourself to completely rest just for one last moment here. Like you're about to wake up after a nice delicious nap. Keeping your eyes closed if possible. Gently bring yourself up into a seat. And keep your eyes closed just to really withdraw from that sense of sight, 
Finding just what feels good for you in a seat. And as long as you're comfortable, bringing your palms to your heart center in a prayer. Anjali Mudra. Tune back into your intention. Why are you here? Hmm. And then bring your thumbs up towards your third eye, the space between your eyebrows. Tilt your head back. Take this moment to honor the beautiful Mother Nature, Mother Earth, for hosting all of us. Bring your thumbs to your heart center. Tilt your chin down. Taking this moment to honor your body for hosting you. And one last time, repeating your intention out loud or inside your mind so you can move forward throughout your day or evening with it. And with your next exhale, slowly beginning to open your eyes, looking at the floor in front of you. Beautiful, and thank you so much for sharing your practice today. May the light within me honor the light within all of you. Namaste.